Hello and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. I wanted to show you guys something that I was using with my children for spelling, which I still use. I just don't use on a regular basis because now I use a lot of the Thinking Tree products and different things like that for um, all the various subjects. But I do use this as a supplement or to support what I do with Thinking Tree and just to give the kids a variety. Um, I really, really like this. Say, for example, I have this as a, my backup. Say, for example, because um, things happen, you get sick or a child gets sick or something happens where it causes the family to have to stop their regular routine for a certain amount of time or a certain period of time. And your regular routine is stopped but you still have to homeschool or still get your things together for homeschool. This, this is, these are the books that I use for those aspects. Say for example, they had to go to grandma's house and they need to go for a certain amount of time because it's some things we had to do here or we had to go out of town unexpectedly. something happened. And I can't take my big fun schooling basket with me because it's just too much information, too much of things for me just to pick up and just take with me because Trust me, I love fun schooling, but I can't take all my fun schooling basket with me when we're going out of town. So this, instead of grabbing, because when I grab my core basket, it's a lot of stuff. So I probably just grab like a supplement, just a journal or something like that. But along with that, I will also grab this. And I don't know if you all know about everyday spelling. But it's two different kinds of everyday spelling. It's everyday spelling that's just strictly spelling. And then there are these everyday spelling books that are called the um, cross. It's called the cross curriculum lessons. And when you see that, when if you search for this on Amazon or eBay or Discovery Books or wherever you get your books from. And I actually bought this using, you see how beautiful this is? I only paid six dollars for it, and it looks brand new. Um, and I think I paid four for this, and that was with shipping. So that included shipping. The book was maybe a penny, and then I had to pay three ninety nine for the shipping. Now this book, I said six dollars. I think this was more like ten. Yeah, this was ten because it's hardcover, but that was including shipping as well. But anyway, back to this book. When you buy, when you're looking for these books, you make sure you look for cross curriculum because it's two different kinds of this book. It's everyday spelling, just strictly spelling, and then it's everyday spelling that's cross curriculum. The reason why I say get cross curriculum because you will be hitting all your subjects. In this one spelling book, it has all your subjects. It will cover, it will cover your English, it will cover, let me show you. Here's the paper. If you can see it, I'll pull it up so you can see a little bit more. So in this cross curricula um, lessons, it will cover social studies, health, science, reading, and math. And you know when you're doing your reading, you're doing your language arts as well. Although it might not go in strict detail with it, but you're gonna be doing some language arts as well. And the book is beautiful. Now this is the eighth grade. This is the eighth grade book. Um, this one I think is seven. No, this is fifth grade. And I have a seventh grade and a sixth grade one, but I don't know where I put it at right now. Maybe I gave it away. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted you all to see this book. I think you will like it for those days where if you can't sit down and teach like you want to because other things is happening, this book is so great because it's covering every single subject. Or if, um, say for example, you sick and you need you tell your husband or your mom or your dad, be like, could y'all help me out? Here's their work that they have to do in this one book. Just make sure they do a page or two in each subject. Anybody can do that for you. And this is basically, my, I love this. This is my go-to book for on those days. It has your spelling. It has everything. 
So I use this and I use Thinking Tree. Thinking Tree books. These are my two go-tos dealing with like a full, this is like a full Spanish curriculum with various words, different words every single week, which Thinking Tree does that as well too. But this is the whole lot more detailed. So if that's what you're looking for, I think this is something that you will like a whole lot. So we'd use these along with the Thinking Tree. And these are something that I give to my mom or my dad if they take them over to the house for during the week. It's during the school week. I'd be like, okay, here, this is some of their work that they have to do. And I send a couple of their Thinking Tree journals along with it. And they stay on track. So, I, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. I hope that this helps some. And this is the fifth grade one. And these are Scott Foreman's. So, when you look it up. And they're relatively inexpensive. Just look in the used category. Not new. Because these books brand new is super duper expensive. They're really expensive. And then when you get into the hard cover... It's even more expensive. This is the soft. This is the hard. So make sure you look used. I encourage you to do the used category. That's what I do. And I have been successful with everything that I have bought used. I have not been dissatisfied with any of my used things. Just stay away from acceptable. Stick with good, like new, condition. And then you should be all right. But anyway, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. I hope this video help you with finding a good spelling book for your children that I liked, um, that we use and it's very, very efficient. And this spelling book is multi-purpose because it covers various different subjects as long as you get the cross curriculum version and not the straight spelling version. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.